Hi there, Power Engineer. Today we're going to talk about another fundamental study, and that is short circuit analysis. Even the best design electrical systems occasionally experience short circuit faults, resulting in abnormally high currents. Over current protective devices, such as circuit breakers and fuses, should isolate the faults at certain locations safely with minimal circuit and equipment damage and minimal disruption of the plant's operation. Other parts of the system, such as cables, busway and disconnecting switches, must withstand the mechanical and thermal stresses resulting from maximum flow of short circuit current through them. The single line printout is an example of the system on which analysis has been performed. The fault currents shown are three phase faults. Let's get started. Once we have our circuit designed in ETAP, we will click on the short circuit mode button on the ribbon. We recognize that the buttons on the right side of the canvas have changed. We will look at the three phase device duty, ANSI C37. Click on the briefcase, which is the short circuit case. On the info tab, make sure that the buses you are interested in analyzing are faulted. Here are the buses I've selected. On the standard tab, make sure that the correct standards and options are selected. Since this is a ANSI project, make sure that the ANSI button is selected and the other options, C37.10 or others, if you're interested. On the adjustment tab, make sure that you've got the right checkboxes. On the alerts tab, you may click the auto display. Click OK. Next, click on the Run 3-Phase Device Duty. At this point, the magnitudes are shown at each faulted bus. We can generate a report and have it PDF. So let's click on the Report Manager. Complete PDF. Click OK. At the bottom of the report, we have the Momentary Duty Summary Report and Interrupting Duty Report. Here you can see on the Momentary Duty Report, you can see the uh, buses which have been analyzed. And here is the Interrupting Duty Report. In this video, I've shown you how to perform a short circuit analysis and how to review the ETAP generated PDF report. If you have found this video helpful, write me in the comments section and give it a thumbs up. Also, you may go to my website, ipa-epc.com, to download any sample single line diagrams and printouts which I may have used in this video. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.